what does it mean to make? Is it a creation, divine inspiration, or is it a craft, uh, question of craftsmanship, or is it an architectural, technical issue? You know, um, but in all the languages, it's about creating new things and not just objects but you know objects that bear significance meaning it's maybe a language or an uh, environment uh, a whole world and it doesn't only mean that it has to be huge cosmological uh, uh, installations it can be tiny things a piece of writing on a piece of paper can make us look at the world differently. Ο τίτλος της έκθεσης έδωσε τη δυνατότητα φαίνεται στους καλλιτέχνες να ελευθερώσουν δυνάμεις και αυτό έχει πραγματικά πολύ καλά αποτελέσματα. Λοιπόν, είμαστε στην Biennale της Βενετίας, 53η Biennale. Πηγαίνουμε για τα Giardini για να ξεκινήσουμε να σας δείχνουμε τις εθνικές συμμετοχές, μετά τα Arsenale και ό,τι καλό και ωραίο βρούμε τώρα όμως. Και πηγαίνοντας για τα Giardini, συναντήσαμε αυτό το έργο που βλέπετε πίσω μου και που είναι η δουλειά μιας ομάδας καλλιτεχνών που βρίσκονται στο Άμστερνταμ, ζουν και εργάζονται εκεί και έχουν φτιάξει μια πλατφόρμα για τα media και για την τέχνη μέσω mail, internet, έναν κυβερνοχώρο ουσιαστικά που μας είναι αρκετά γνώριμος τα τελευταία χρόνια ε, στο βαθμό που ενδιαφέρει κάποιους οικαστικούς καλλιτέχνες. Όμως, εδώ τα πράγματα είναι λίγο πιο σύνθετα. Η εγκατάσταση αυτή έχει στηθεί σε αυτό το σημείο ε, λίγο πριν τα Giardini για να καταγράφει τους περαστικούς, επώνυμους και ανώνυμους που πηγαίνουν να επισκεφθούν την 53η Μιενάλη της Βενετίας. Αλλά θα μάθουμε τώρα περισσότερα για αυτόν τον οργανισμό, για αυτή την πλατφόρμα των media και για το ρόλο που παίζει στην διεθνή καστική σκηνή από έναν καλλιτέχνη και τον υπεύθυνο αυτή τη ομάδα. Είναι ο Ρενέκ, είναι δίπλα μου. Ξεκινάω αμέσω να σα παρουσιάζω την 53η Biennale τη Βενετία με αυτό το παράδοξο και νομίζω ενδιαφέροντα τρόπο. Well, Ρενέκ, hello. Hello. This is a surprise. It's the first time we meet something like this in our promenade to Giardini. Okay. So, uh, there is a platform for media art and the culture that broadcast digital and interactive artworks. What it is about? Uh, you, are, you are established in Amsterdam, Holland? Yes. So tell us the story. What we, uh, what we wanted to do is, uh, in, in, instead of what uh, all the national participations do, is uh, they, the, the, most of the time the state is uh, giving an assignment to a curator, and a curator gives an assignment to an artist. Mm -hmm. And we want to show, in the context of new media, uh, uh, another, another way to show art. Mm -hmm. We want to show it on the streets. Uh -huh. So outside of the classical context, in the context of the, of the, the, of the urban context. And uh, what we did, we uh, invented last year this platform. Uh, 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 it's a platform for digital art, interactive art, and what we call e-culture. And uh, basically what we do is we give assignments to artists, designers, interaction designers, to make interactive artworks. Uh, which means that the public on the street can actively participate into the, to the end result of, of the artwork. Mm -hmm. But what way. kind of art do you show? Here we have example, okay. But is this what you are doing or there are different options? What we want to show is really interactive. So people are part of the artwork. So instead of just looking at it, like inactive, we want people to participate and, and really form a part of the artwork. So where do you work? Do you have a studio or do you work through internet? How do you work? We work in Amsterdam from the studio, but uh, this pavilion is traveling from city oh. to city, and really? which is the center of our network. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we broadcast these artworks, not only on the big screen, in the pavilion where we are, but also on a network of what we call drop stuff hotspots, mm -hmm. which are kind of media media boxes, and mm -hmm. we put them in museums, libraries, okay. public mm -hmm. transport stations. So there is an address that we can enter in the in uh, the internet and find yeah. details on this. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, so yep. Uh, you, you, we also broadcast this live on the internet, mm -hmm. and also people from home can participate into okay. into the artworks. Okay. They, so if you make a Dropstuff account, you're even able to send us your own creative uh -huh. work and our uh, staff will uh, look uh -huh. whether we can broadcast it. Um, did Mr. Birnbaum invite you to the biennial or you, you came by yourselves? I mean, you decided to install uh, during this period? Yeah, both. 
uh, first we came up with the idea, okay. and then uh -huh. uh, Mr. Birnbaum had to approve it himself, and uh -huh. he and he, he luckily he did. And, and finally, he liked it very much, I think. He huh? liked it very much, I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It, it, it's very it, spectacular, it's and it's a very good entrance to the biennial. A very good idea. Thank you. <laughs> okay, uh, you told me there is an artist here, but uh, he created this part of, yeah, of the work we he see is, behind. He created this specific artwork that we're broadcasting right now. Okay, C can he tell us a few words about the idea of this crazy car here? Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay, can yeah. you call him? Yeah. Um, I think it's because um, uh, when I was young, I always went to uh, I went to parties, and um, I find uh, only a party with only a DJ is very boring. And I liked uh, humor and I liked uh, art, so uh, I was wondering why why can't I combine humor, art, and sound? For, uh, the, I, w I want to combine art into the the, 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 the late evenings where people enjoy and there's yeah, also... You're, um, you're right, this is like a toy. I mean... It I is remember. a toy, it's a yeah. big boy's toy or... Can we move it? Yes. On the, on the megaphone there's a, a, small, a small camera and a small mic. And um, the installation is that uh, you can see the screen, you can see the camera on the megaphone and the mic. So there's also a walkie-talkie uh -huh. and you can be the car itself. So you can stand from the screen, and you, can, you, you, you are the car. Uh -huh. And the car will drive around the, the square and you can actually talk to people. Right? You have an interaction. But because... <gasps> You're there, and the car and the people are there. You can say things that you normally wouldn't say. It's a kind of a reaction on the, the chat generation we're into. Mm -hmm. yeah? When we chat, we can say, uh, for instance, if you're very shy, you can say, I love you, yeah. and I, I want to be with you. Mm -hmm. But if you're here in person, I wouldn't say that, maybe. Yeah. So, and that's the reason also I, uh, I built this, uh, this car. Uh -huh. And it speaks. Uh, I mean, there it is speaks, a voice. Yeah. It's your yeah. voice sometimes, or my voice. Doesn't yeah. matter. Doesn't matter. Has not, nothing to do with uh, the idea that it, uh, it turns around and it gathers uh, sentimental and feelings. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Indeed. And also, it, 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 if 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 you walk down the street, people are always into it themselves. Right? Mm. People are always busy with their own lives. I want to go to that place. And when I drive the car, everybody laughs, and there's always a. Uh, uh, enjoyment and everybody's happy and that's also one of the reasons the humor humor is very important for me i like to laugh and right. i like to enjoy <laughs> and